What's up, guys and girls? Welcome to House of Lasers Tips and Tutorials. Uh, we wanted to discuss the art library and proofing. Uh, we have a lot of clients since we since we own a, a Tumblr company. We have a lot of clients that want to see what it's going to look like on a cup prior uh, to ordering, and usually this is something that's that's not necessarily difficult, but there's a lot of steps. So you have to create the graphic, pull it into Illustrator or or whatever graphic program you're using, and and layer stuff onto you know fill it, layer it, um, and send it out to the the client. Well, I'm going to show you how we do it here. Um, Lightburn is not the most proficient at this, but it can be done. Um, we're missing a couple of options and. I beg you to go on to Lightburn's forum and request these these features. Uh, one, we need a tool, um, a ruler, so that we can draw arrows and and have proper sizing to show the size of the graphic and the placement of the graphic. And we also need color uh, rendering. So, if we were working with a, a red tumbler and people wanted to see what it's going to look like on a red tumbler. Um, Right now, Lightburn turns everything into grayscale. If we had the option to maybe turn off the grayscaling for proof mode, um, I personally would love to have this if uh, you guys would like to have that as well. I know the ruler is a big request, um, but Lightburn on their forum does have a request section for features. Uh, I beg you to go on and ask for something like that. So. First of all, art library. Um, I have mine. Uh, if you watch any of the other videos, um, how I have my windows set up, these are all my optional windows for variable text and, and shape properties and my art library. So in the art library, you can add different folders like I have here. Um, and, and you can just fill them with whatever you create. Um, and then pretty much you could just drag them and drop them in. Um, on will and then say this graphic was something I've just created um, and I wanted to add a new library I would just click new uh, depending on where I'm saving it I keep all of mine in my lightburn file SPAR. and then we would just create that and then we would do an import graphic from project And there you go. You, there you have it. You have a Spartan library with a Spartan head um, and so on and so forth. So how do we use this and make a proof in Lightburn? Um, it, it's fairly easy and some of you probably already know, um, but this is how we do it here. Um, like I said, we do make a lot of tumblers, and if I wanted to put this on a 30 ounce, I have all of my drinkware, and you could do this with anything. So say you do a ton of cutting boards. Uh, you could just load your, your cutting board graphic, you know, edit this in Photoshop so you don't have no backgrounds. Bring it in. Resize it. Um, obviously, when we're engraving, um, it's it's engraving away the paint on a stainless steel tumbler, or if it's a I mean, if it's a painted tumbler. Otherwise, it's a stainless steel tumbler, and you'd be engraving black. So you're going to change your graphic color to the color you need it to be revealed as. So if we stick this over, now it's gone, but we can arrange. So I want that graphic to be forward. Uh, so you push to front, and there you have it. So obviously that's not going to work. Um, so what we need to do is do a filled render. Uh, I don't recommend using this very often, especially if you're designing in here, mostly because you cannot see the lines you're, you're picking. Um, but you can use it as an overlay feature. Uh, it also slows it down. Um, it's right here, filled rendering. It does explain right here, it is slower. 
but it, it helps when doing stuff like this. Let's send that to the back, the range, push back. Oopsie. And I think I have this as the same color and that's why it's not showing up. So you, you have to have one, one layer and the other a different layer and there you have it. And now you can send that to the customer and show them what it's going to look like on their Tumblr. Now, if you wanted to, like I said, this is something that we don't have access to right now that we would, I would love that we can just pick a ruler from our toolbar over here and put it right over. Um, but if you build a graphic, you can, you can make do. So I've, I've built a graphic that, that I could use for this. And, you know, I could always just, uh, click on the number and change the number. If this is going to be four inches, you know, we could easily just, uh, manipulate these graphics as, as we need them. So this is a, a quick trick if you need to send something like this over to your client. Um, fairly basic, straightforward. Um, and, and, you know, if you're a hobbyist or if you do run a business, this saves you a few steps and, and gets the job done in a quick pinch. Um, if you, what I do is I typically just take a screenshot of it. Um, if you need to, you can just turn off your graph or your grid, and then you have a clean rendering of it. And then on mine, I'm just doing a quick screenshot. And now I have a photo that I could send right over to the client and show them exactly what it's going to look like. Um, in fact, we just did one and I'll pull that one in. So we just did this for a uh, police officer up in New Jersey. And these are the cups he has going to him. Um, but, you know, I sent him my first render and he wanted to change a couple of things. He wanted to add veteran underneath the Marine logo. Uh, and, and we got approval uh, for, for everything. He was super stoked about it. So this is something that would be quick and easy to do. Um, this way, there's no questions from the client as far as the sizing. Or that, I didn't approve that. I don't like the way that looks. Um, but I said that there are some limitations when it comes to light burn and doing this. But it, it really does help in a quick pinch. And it beats taking everything out and layering things and filling things in Photoshop or Illustrator or, or Corel. Uh, you know, my philosophy is the more that I could do in one program, uh, save disk space, save time, uh, confusion with files, uh, is, is the route that I'm going to take. So, um, let's get on Lightburn's forum and, and beg that they add a couple of these features and, uh, hopefully it will help all of us out with, with sending proof to the client. Also, a good thing to keep in mind is remember that Lightburn has a camera. Uh, if you have that camera option installed, you could always use that as an overlay. And when you're creating the different layers, you can use different colors. So keep that option in mind. Uh, here's an example of the firefighter uh, flag with a red axe that I did. I sent it off, got approval, and then finished it all up. So when you have an opportunity, head on over to Lightburn's forum and let's see if we can get that ruler added. I know it's a, uh, a really popular request and I'm sure it's coming. I'm sure it's in the works, but uh, let's try to push it to the top of the list. Uh, if you guys are not part of our Facebook forum, head on over. We have tons of discounts and uh, we're working on getting vendors every day. Uh, House of Lasers on Facebook. And guys, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, join us for the next one. Thanks.